After the dawning of the space race, humanity continued very little projects in that of space exploration, and instead used the majority of funds for continued space research. Due to this new initiative, it became imperative for space agencies to establish permanent space stations in space, to help with continuing research projects and plans. This led to the creation of the International Space Station, which can be used by all nations and governments in a joint effort to further research. Of course, attempting to understand a brave new frontier comes with a variety of strange and mysterious circumstances that researchers are still trying to better understand. One thing that interests many people is that of the strange objects that can allegedly be seen in the background of the International Space Station which has led many to come to the conclusion that strange objects are coming into contact with the ISS. Interestingly, many of these objects appear to come in different shapes and sizes, ranging from the triangle cigar and disc. One woman was able to capture what she said was strange objects close to the International Space Station. The woman who filmed these objects said that she was watching the live cam footage via her television and when she saw the objects come on the screen, she quickly grabbed her phone. She said she was surprised that these objects were able to keep such a strict formation, and that the whole time they were on the screen, they didn't appear to break formation. When the video was posted to social media, many people couldn't explain what these objects were. The woman detailed that shortly after these objects were seen, the camera was then shut off, something that viewers have often said happens when something strange comes into the International Space Station cameras. One user said the following, I've often spent time watching this screen and doing exactly what this woman has done uploading it onto my TV and trying to spot something that looks out of the ordinary. I don't think this is space debris, and what I find strange is that these objects match the overall appearance of objects that we see on Earth, including triangular crafts. I find it amazing that there could be so much activity happening above us at any given time, and the majority of us never even know that this is happening. Others carried on and said this isn't the first time that something strange has been detected by the ISS. The live footage from the International Space Station has often been used by some as proof that we're not alone. For those that are unaware, the International Space Station has a variety of cameras to monitor spacewalks, and other areas that need to be under 24-hour surveillance. 
This has allowed the agency to play live footage on internet shows, websites, live television broadcasting and so on. To help build up an interest in space, gather footage for people to see, or to even take up watching time on the public broadcasting network for the United States under the NASA administration. Recently, there have been a number of events where footage of strange objects have been seen floating in the distance, and this has led many to believe that they could be coming from another system. After such incidents are spotted, the footage will later be removed or edited. The live feed will be cut or the entire incident will be completely ignored by NASA. Recently, these changes have become so apparent that NASA has admitted that the majority of the live feed broadcasted as being live is actually much older than many people believe. In fact, there have been several proven instances by the BBC of the NASA live footage having been old footage, dating back to 2015 being played during a 2018 live broadcast. This report was detailed around recent space videos that were uploaded, with the website saying that users were actually watching old footage. There are websites that you can visit where you can watch a live feed from the International Space Station, and this is what people are referring to when they say they can see these strange objects. NASA suggests that anyone who wants to see a video from space should look at their official social media pages, or that of the International Space Station. NASA's current Chief Bill Nelson did send out a message though, saying that he and NASA hope that these mysterious aircrafts don't belong to other countries. Bill Nelson said the following, We hope it's not an adversary here on Earth that has that kind of technology. While talking about asteroids and what NASA will do if one is on a collision course with Earth, he openly talked about these mysterious aircrafts, continuing with the following, before we leave, I haven't even talked about the search for extraterrestrial life. What do you think we're doing on Mars? We're looking for life. This is part of NASA's mission. That's what this telescope is going to be looking for. Are there other planets elsewhere where there's life? I know what you've seen is what those Navy pilots saw in 2004, and there have been some 300 sightings since then. I've talked to those pilots and they know that they saw something, and their radars locked onto it, and then all of a sudden it was here on the surface and then it's there, and they don't know what it is and we don't know what it is. We hope it's not an adversary here on earth that has that kind of technology, but it's something, and so this is a mission that we're constantly looking into. What or who is out there? Who are we? How did we get here? How did we become as we are? How did we develop? How did we civilize? And are those same conditions out there in a universe that has billions of other suns in billions of other galaxies? It's so large I can't conceive it. Another interesting piece of footage was recently captured by the International Space Station, and it showed what appeared to be a large triangular shaped aircraft. Those who saw the live feed described it as passing by the camera relatively quickly, noting that the sighting only lasted a few seconds, so it was likely that most people never even knew it was there in the first place. What's strange is that many of these triangular-shaped objects have shown up on the International Space Station cameras, and it's led some to question where these objects are coming from. Not everyone is won over by these claims though, with some suggesting that these objects could be a number of things, including space debris satellites or camera glitches. NASA doesn't often reply to these types of sightings, but when they have they've said that the most likely answer is that what people are seeing is just space debris, and that sometimes these objects can take on the appearance of aircrafts, when in reality it's just something small that's being distorted. According to former NASA engineer James Oberg, he went on to say that these objects are just space dander are floating in front of cameras. When they appear in front of their cameras they give off the effect that something much larger is there, when in reality what people are seeing has a natural origin. He said the following, 
I've had enough experience with real spaceflight to realize that what's being seen in many videos is nothing beyond the norm, from fully mundane phenomena occurring in unearthly settings. Another NASA official said the following about these sightings. The majority of these alleged sightings can be easily explained. One of the things that people see is space debris that's made its way in front of their cameras. When these pieces of debris are up close, it can look like a strange object. In reality, people are just seeing a common piece of space debris. Scientists don't seem faced by these discoveries, and have said they don't want to comment on these types of discoveries anymore. But amateur researchers are still of the opinion that there's something more mysterious going on. Space is one of the last unexplored frontiers for humans, and with that comes an air of mystery. There's many of us that want to believe that we're not alone, and that there's other intelligent life forms out there. But NASA has said that amateur researchers have it all wrong, and there's never been any proof that we've been visited. So what do you make of these interesting reports? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.